Hi, this is Sarah from Spark Practice, and welcome to day three of the September Practice Challenge. Today, I want to talk to you about something really important, which is intentional and strategic disappointment. Now, you might be saying, like, I just, I have really high standards, and I always want to aim high, and I always want to be progressing, and I always want to be doing something, and all of that. Okay, I get that. Also, let's talk strategy for a second. Strategic disappointment comes from sports. If you think, if you think about archery, for example, if you aim your arrow at exactly your target, where you want to go, it's going to fall short because we didn't consider gravity, the earth's rotation, drag, wind, all of these external forces that impact that arrow on its journey, on its path from here to where I want to go. The same thing is true with us. So what this means is that we're actually setting ourselves up to aim further, aim higher, dream bigger, and know that where we're really trying to go between now and our next little stop is the archery target, is whatever your big goal is. Where do you want to be? And what do you need? What skills do you need to develop to be able to land there? These skills are going to happen in three major categories. Technique, artistry, and performance. Technique is going to be what you can do on your instrument, your facility, your special sauce of the way that you play, and having a really rich and deep and competent technique. Your artistry is going to be your artistic voice. How big can you dream? How beautiful can you play? How many characters can you express? How can you construct phrases and stories and charisma and bring all of this together in a really compelling performance every time? Performance skills are things like building out our nervous system to hold big things, to be able to hold space for understanding what's happening in our body and getting used to the chemicals and all of the reactions that are happening when we're in vulnerable spaces. It's also having tools in place to be able to get on stage comfortably and know what in our mind is head junk, what in our mind is practice brain, and what in our mind is performance brain. It's being able to train all of these things together and having really the skills that we need to be able to execute and to enjoy even the best performances yet. All of these things come together in this sort of strategic disappointment, which is actually a really encouraging thing. And you might end up going further than you intend to on this trip of strategic disappointment. But don't be afraid. The worst thing you can do is aim low. If you aim directly for your target, it'll probably land short of that. So lift your eyes a little bit. Dream a little bit bigger. Let that be uncomfortable. Your nervous system will grow into that. We'll talk about that later this month. And I am so excited for you. You got this. So today's challenge is to think of something that you really, a, a place you want to go in your career, a place you want to go in your playing, a big dream that you have. What would be the dream above that? What's something that you could aim for above that, around that, next to that? Challenge yourself to say, oh my gosh, that could never be possible. That's fine. Don't worry about it. You can aim for that anyway and let yourself start to believe it because the thing that you want is probably the thing that's higher than that is too. All you're doing is standing in your own way. So your challenge today is to think of something that you really want in your life. How do you want to feel in your career? Do you know kind of where you want that to go? The kinds of places that you want to play, your, what you want your career to look like? Now lift your eyes up just a little bit. Dream a little bit bigger. Who's in the stratosphere above and around that? Maybe aim for that first because you can be strategically disappointed and then end up with a really fulfilling career of exactly what you want. Uh, if you want to like 
start here and go a next step and aim even higher, do that. If you're at the absolute top of your game and top of your industry and there's nobody to look up to anymore, that's okay. Branch out. The depth of beauty and competency and storytelling and your artistic voice and your performance skills and all of that can always be richer, can always be deeper. All you have to do is lift your eyes up and get inspired by the potential around you. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow.